Hi, welcome back to my channel, Miss Damn Jewelry. I'm Dolores, and I'm excited to be participating in the April Huckster Hop. Yes, it's back this month, and I'm so glad to be participating. Now, you probably just came back, uh, came over from Beth's channel, Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties, which was at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm here at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and then after my sale, you'll hop on over to Mary at Mary's Reclaimed Treasures, at 7 p.m. Eastern Time to see her sale. A drop sale is a pre-recorded sale, much like a live sale, except it's pre-recorded and you can watch it at your leisure. Uh, I will be showing you items that have numbers and a price. And if you wish to claim the item, all you have to do is put the item number in the comments. But don't worry, I'll be sorting the comments oldest to newest. Now the jump part of the sale, the the a hop part of the sale even, uh, is where you would hop from Beth's channel, Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties, to my channel, Miss Damn Jewelry. Then the next sale would be Mary's at Reclaim Treasures by Mary, and so on and so forth. But don't worry, I'll have all the sellers participating in this month's sale in the description of this video. Right, if you'd like to participate in the uh, hop sale, all you have to do is send me the following details to this email address. I'm gonna need your real name, your YouTube name, your PayPal email, and your address. Uh, so I know where to ship the items. So if you send it to this email right here, I can get you sorted out. So be aware, I am shipping from the UK. I am based in the UK. So if you are in the United States, I do ship to the United States. I do ship within the UK and I will ship to, ship to mainland Europe. Remember if I ship to mainland Europe, there is import duties since Brexit. But the prices for the uh, U.S. will be roughly $34. Uh, that's up to a kilo or a 2.2 pound box. Uh, it will be going UPS because UPS gets it there in seven days. So remember, I'm shipping from the U.K. and It'll be the, the item plus the shipping from the U.K. Uh, that'll all come across here. All that information will come across here. And it'll also be in the description of my video, which items... Uh, the items that I'm selling plus the cost of shipping. Right, so anything a kilo and below or 2.2 pounds and below is 34 pounds to ship from the UK to the US. Takes seven days with UPS. Also, if I'm shipping within the UK or it will be Royal Mail second class and the, those prices will be in the description of the video. Right, I think that's all the things I need to tell you. Obviously, you can email me if you have any questions to this email here. This email would be popping up throughout the video. So if you miss it here, it'll be popping up throughout the video and you can always get it there. I'll also be in the description of my video. So let's get started with the drop sale. So I like to do job lots because I am shipping from the UK. So when you order something or you claim something from me, it'll be quite a few items in the uh, in each lot. So my first lot is going to be a vintage dog lot. Look at all the puppies. Oh, it's so cute. So let's get uh, into what I've got here on my tray. So the first dog you'll get is this dog here. It is ceramic. There's no maker's mark on it. He's in very good condition. No chips, no cracks. I call him the floppy ear dog. He is uh, two and a half inches tall and his length is four and a half inches. So he's a, he's a good sized dog. Not too big, not too small. And then my second dog is, I call him tail dog because he got this cute little tail popping up. Again, a ceramic piece. It is not marked anywhere. It is in good condition. No chips, no cracks. Look at him. He is two and a half inches high, tall, and he's uh, three inches long across. Look at his little, his little mustache. So that's the second one. The next two are going to be cute little Wade, oh, cute little Wade Whimsies. <laughs> I'll drop them. Little Wade Whimsy dogs, and I'll show you each one. This one's a little brown one here. Look at him. His little face. Looks like my friend's dog. And that's his back. So he's Wade Whimsy size. I mean, they're quite small. Be good for a doodad tray or, you know, a little tear tray or whatever. And here's the other dog. He's like a little blue dog. Look at him. He is so cute. Oh, and that's the bottom there. So these are two little Wade Whimsy dogs. And then you're going to get this dog. This is like, so cute. This is like a little trinket dish. A little puppy in a basket, look at him. 
and this is uh, two inches tall and three inches in length. And it does say Wade England on the bottom. Again, it is uh, like the porcelain, the Wade porcelain. And he's really cute. So for the entire lot of puppies, dogs, puppies, pets, we all love dogs. I love dogs, even though I own a bunch of cats. So for the vintage dog lot, it's going to be 18 US dollars or 16 pounds plus shipping. And it's going to be number 14. Number 14 for the vintage dog lot. Right, let's get into the next lot. The next lot is going to be a vintage floral lot. So let's get into it. Let's get into each piece. Ooh, let's get into each piece. This, we're going to start with this little vase, urn-shaped vase. It is Wedgwood. It is got lovely floral detail on both sides. It is marked on the bottom, Wedgwood. It's a uh, bone china. This is three and a half inches tall and two and a half inches across. So that's your first part. The next one is vintage Fiesta glass. So this is a paperweight. It's got a, it's like a foil backing paperweight. Look at that, so pretty, look at that rose. And it's got the felt and it has the original sticker, Fiesta glass. There you go. So this piece is three and a half inches long and two and a half inches wide. So that's your next piece. The next piece is a made in Japan Pomander cat. Look at that. Oh, so cute. It's a, like I said, it's a, pom a Pomander made in Japan. It's got little flowers painted all over him with his little blue eyes and his little bow. Look at him, his little string hanging. He's got the holes there so that the uh, potpourri whiffs out. Uh, it's, there's a bottom with a stopper and there's a sticker. I don't know if you're going to read that, but it's saying made in Japan. And it is two inches tall and three inches in length. It's very good condition. It is ceramic. So that's your next slot. Little kitty cat. Couldn't be a sale without a cat, honey. Then the next thing you're going to get is this vintage small hand-painted picture. It is glass-fronted with a metal frame, and it's even signed there. She's got a little signature there, but it's all hand-painted, and that's the back. The back looks almost like a leathery kind of material, and then that's the label there. And this is, the length is three and a half inches, and the width is two and a half inches. And then your final bit of your floral lot is this beautiful vintage brooch. It is a, look at that floral brooch. Look at the colors on that. Oh, it's got rhinestones between the flowers. This is like a little faux turquoise uh, cabochon. It is gold tone metal. It has a C class, so it's an older brooch. So there you go. Just flick it under there. Here's the back of it. Good condition, very pretty very vintage. So that's your lot. Your floral lot is going to be 20 US dollars or 18 pounds. And it's going to be number 42. Number 42 for the vintage floral lot. Right. So your next lot is going to be this very pretty trio of Kate Ness glass. It is so pretty. Two of the same or similar and then one is a little different let's get into it so your first one so these two foot, footed bowls are similar they're sisters not twins and we'll get into that so your first one has a smooth top and it has the pink uh, the pink glass and or the white glass and a light pink faint little glass and it's so pretty with like kind of an optic look to it so both this one and this one. So this is like it. It's got the same uh, pinkish white stripes going through it. The pink at the bottom. Very pretty. Still the optic look. But this has a scalloped edge. So this edge is a little bit scalloped where this edge is smooth. So both of those are going to be uh, two and a half inches tall and three inches wide. So that's the, the, both, exactly the same size. The only difference is the scalloped edge. The third bowl is just a, it's not footed, it's just like a flat bowl here at the bottom. It does, this also has a scalloped edge, and it has this lovely, I don't know if you can see it. It's got this mottled uh, white and light pink in it. Can you see that? Let me see. 
Does that work? Nope. Well, you can kind of see it there. So it's got this light pink modeling in it. Uh, modeling. And um, it's a model. It's modeling. <laughs> Modeled. Anyway, so this is the... You can kind of see it there. So this is going to be... Uh, where is it? Oh, it's two inches tall and a little over three inches in width. And they're all so pretty. And this is, again, the Kate Ness glass lot. So pretty. They'd be pretty together in a window. Ooh, with the sun hitting them. Oh, so pretty. So that lot is going to be, the vintage Kate Ness Trio is going to be 22 US dollars plus shipping or 20 pounds, number 37. Number 37 for the Kate Ness Glass Trio. Right, so my next lot is going to be something a little different. I'll have to insert a picture in here of all the brooches that are coming in this box, but let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with this beautiful glass, uh, stained glass butterfly with little gems applied, wiring and beads all over it, so pretty. So you're gonna get this box, there's more, and a box of brooches. There's 14 brooches in this box. So we won't, I won't go through all of them here. What I'll do is I'll insert a picture of all the brooches spread out on the table so you can see them all. Most of them have rollover clasps. They're a mix of gold and tone and um, gold tone and metal, a silver tone metal. So this is just a mix of eras and styles. So it's a mix of ages, a mix of um, different styles. Okay, this is actually, this is fun. This is actually... See the little duck? Is that, is that upside down? Oh no, like that well, is upside down. <laughs> is it? Oh no, there we go. It's <laughs> don't know. It's this way. This is actually a scarf clip. So if you see, oops, if you see the back, it has where you clip your scarf. You set your scarf through it, and then you clip it down. So this little three, I love that three geese flying. That's a scarf clip. Everything else is brooches. So you can get like a you know hand painted wood one, a flower. There you go. Um, who is this? Oh, look at this little, this is a Hollywood brooch. Look at this guy, isn't he cool? I got that. So you're gonna get 14 brooches plus the glass box, jewelry box. Like I said, I'll put pictures, a picture of all of them sitting next to the box so you can see that. You can like have a good look at it. Uh, oh, a marcasite brooch, look at that. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, look at this, Like this is like a little scatter brooch, this little star. And, oh, look, of course, we have to have a dragonfly for the dragonfly box. And then two more, a little scatter brooch. And a, oh, this is kind of cool. This is, oh, actually, this one's an older one. This is a heart, but it's got a C class. So that's an older one. That's silver tail metal. Then a little scatter brooch. So you're going to get the whole lot, the box, and the 14 brooch, uh, the 13 brooches and one scarf clip for 20 US dollars or 18 pounds, number eight. Number eight for the dragonfly glass box and the brooches and one scarf clip. So my next lot's pretty cool. It's kind of simple, but it's a boy and girl matchstick holder or what they would call a spill holder back in the day. Let's get into it. So these two are a couple. Brother and sister, I think. I believe they look quite young, so I believe the brother and sister. So both of them are brass and let me get her so both brass and now this would be where you would hold your whoops where you'd hold your matches or what they call your spill stick so spill holder would be the little sticks that you would use from to light one fire to another so or it's a mat or you can put your matches in here and see how it's textured here you could strike the match on this and then light your candle or your fire or whatever they use these in the old days. Now, I don't know if they're Vesta. I Some of them say that they are. When you I Google it, sometimes it's not Vesta. It just says little boy and girls match fill holders. So that's what they are. So this is a boy. And he's like, again, the same. You put your little matches or your spill sticks in here to light the fire. And then that's the bottom. So it's got a, he's got a solid bottom. Now, she's a little bit different on the bottom. She is... Uh, that's the bottom of her, but she's, hers is like open. So I'll show you the difference. So he's solid and probably because she's wearing like a dress, you know, he's got feet. So there you go. So those two, you're going to get these two. They, I keep dropping. 
They are uh, three inches tall and two inches in length. So you're gonna get the pair. And the pair of boy and girl spill holders are going to be 20 US dollars or 18 pounds. And it's gonna be number 63. Number 63 for the boy and girl matchstick slash spill holders. All right, let's talk about jugs, shall we? Big jugs, little jugs, small jugs. I got jugs. They're vintage jugs. Here we go. Or pitchers, if you'd like to call them that. <laughs> anyway, so I've got a set of four pitchers. They are German pottery, all different types of glaze, all different sizes. Let's get into it. So you're going to get this lot of vintage jugs, uh, German pitchers. And we'll start with this first one. This first one is really pretty. It's got like this, they're all type, like a maroon type color, uh, but this has got like a nice drip glaze, almost like a, not really a fat lava, but a drip glaze. And it's got this lovely handle, very good condition. There's the other side. It is marked Germany with a mold number. And this one is three and a half inches tall by three and a half inches long. And the width is two, a little over two inches on this. So that's your first jug. I think it's so pretty. Oh, I love these jugs, child. <laughs> I love jugs. Okay, so the next one is a, what I call a stout floral jug. It is, again, it's this type of maroon. It's got some gold around the sides, little gold accents. It also says, uh, made in Germany. There you go, it's marked there. And this is cute. I like it because it's got this little extra floral decor on it. Really pretty, so nice. Now the stout floral jug is a little over three inches tall. Uh, length is a little over two inches and the width is a little over one inch on that. So that's your second jug. Now these two jugs, pictures, are twins. They're actually twins. They actually were born exactly the same time, maybe a few minutes apart. And they're like a maroon speckled, like a speckled, mottled, not mottled, mottled. <laughs> they're hot models. <laughs> two mottled jugs, a, a, a glaze. The glaze is really pretty. They both have gold accents on them. And the bottom, so one of them, oh, they both say Germany, but one of them's more prominent. Actually, this one says Germany on the bottom. You can just make that out. And the other one doesn't really say anything. Uh, if it's there, it's very, very faint. So these two uh, are a match. They are sisters, twins even, not just sisters, twins. So these two are two and a half inches tall. Uh, length is two inches and they're over a little uh, over one inch in width. So These are really pretty. So for your vintage jugs your vintage German pottery jugs It's going to be 18 US dollars or 16 pounds number 28 number 28 for your vintage jugs Right. My next lot is going to be a vintage bird lot Ooh, all kinds of birds. You see that? I don't want to tip it because it'll slide off. Anyway, I'm going to show you individually. So, get, so let's get into it. Oh, so I got some birds here, child. Birds, 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 birds. Where shall I start? Let's start with these two. These birds here. So these are two decorative. I don't, I don't really plates. I think they're more plaques. Let's call them plaques. They are ceramic and they both have these birds. Uh, they've got the little cutouts here. Uh, a blue jay, maybe unclear, but he is. <laughs> so, two of those. I'll show them in. I'll show you them individually. So the first one is this lovely blue bird here. Uh, it's it is a transferware. It's got the gold around the edges. So pretty. It is not marked anywhere, but it's got this little string ready to hang. So this is the first one. The they're both um, three and a half inches length in length and. And width there are, and width they are four inches. They're four inches in width and three and a half inches in length. And here's the next one. And he, I love him. He's really super colorful. He's got all the colors. Look at him. Again, he's got the same gold accents, the little heart cutouts, heart shape, ready to hang. So that's your first lot of the bird lot. Then you're going to get um, this. This is fun. I just got this. This is so cool. This is a cross stitch bird paperweight. So it is a glass paperweight. It's got this little cross stitch on it, with a little bird in a tree. And it has the felted green bottom. 
And this is uh, two and a half by two and a half inches in width and length. Look at that. Isn't that cute though? The time someone took to make that little tiny bird. I like it. So that's the next lot. And then you're gonna get this bird. This is so cute. This is a little ceramic bird. He almost looks gobel, but it's not. It's not even marked. So, but it looks like it. It's such a good detail on this bird. I can't remember. I think I did look it up once. I can't remember what it was. So that's your little bird there. He is, oh, here's the bottom. That's the bottom of the bird. A little ceramic bird. For your little doodad tray, whatnot tray, your little printer's tray. How cute is that? So this bird is, oh, how big is this? Oh, he is one and a half inches tall and uh, two and a half inches in length. He is very cute. So that's that. Then you're going to get this bird. This is, a, oh, this is so cute. This is a green glass bird. It's like a little paperweight. He's green. Oh, he's clear with the green glass swirl in him. He got some bubbles up in there. They are not controlled. They are just bubbles. Uh, he's not got a clear bottom, so I don't know where he was made. That's the bottom. It just looks a little, like, frosted. It's smooth, but just... Uh, not ground down like they would do in a Murano bird. So he's definitely not a Murano bird, but he sure is cute. Look at him. Oh, he's a cute little bird. Put him in the sun. Oh, next to your pink hay nest glass. Wouldn't that be pretty? So this bird is um, one and a half inches in height and in length, he's three inches. So he's about the same. It's maybe a little bit bigger than the ceramic bird. Put them together. Look. Oh, hello, birds. Come on, birds. Let's get it. So you're getting those. And your last thing is going to be, of course, a brooch, a bird brooch. It's a fancy chicken or peacock, as some people like to call it. Uh, it's a very pretty, is it a peacock or bird of paradise? Maybe that's who she is. Well, she's almost got like a jelly belly effect on here. It's like a, um, like almost like a tiger's eye effect, glass capuchon with multicolored rhinestones in her tail. She is gold tone. And she is fancy, ready to party, honey. And she does have a rollover clasp. There she is in the back. And she is three inches long by one inch across. So you're going to get this entire bird lot. All the birds, all the things. Birds for you, birds for your walls, birds for your shelves. So that's going to be 17 US dollars or 15 pounds. Number 50. Number 50 for the bird lot. So that concludes my portion my sale of the April Huckster Hop. I was so glad to be included. Thank you, Patrick, for inviting me again. And if you claim from anything, if you claimed anything from today's sale, remember to send your information this email here. And you can put that number that you claim in the comments and I will be sorting them oldest to newest. So I'll know who claimed something first. Also, don't forget, there's loads of other sellers today. There's me, obviously after me is Mary from Reclaimed Treasures by Mary. Y'all know she does those little bingo cards. Okay, she's got some. Mary crafts some great stuff. Y'all need to go hop on over here. Stop watching me now because I'm done and go see Mary because she's going to have some wonderful things. And that is 7 p.m. Eastern time. Again, guys, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to uh, follow and check out and subscribe to all the people, other sellers in the description of this video who are participating in this April sale. Again, thanks again, Patrick, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.